In this video, we're going to cover the valves. So there are four different valves in your heart. So valves in your heart, right? So what do they do? First, their first function is to allow the blood to only go in one direction. The way it does this is that they act like doors. So the valves, there's either two or three flaps on each side, right? And pretend that they're actually doors. And the hinges are right here. And they only open in one direction. So once the blood, let's go ahead and say that this right here is going to be um, the right ventricle. This is the right ventricle. So once blood is brought down from the right atrium, this is going to fill, 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 fill. And then once the blood gets up here and applies pressure to the doors, they're going to shut, right? And they do not go past this way because there's like a locking device. Just, let's pretend there's a locking device or it's like a door and they shut one way and they only open one way. And this is exactly how they direct blood flow. And they all work the exact same way. If you ever worked uh, with piping or, or anything like that or any kind of machinery, they are just like check valves. So check valves are valves that only allow for fluid to go in one direction. That's it. Because there are like little doors that will shut once pressure is put on them. So that's how they direct blood flow. So let's go ahead and go over them. So first let's go over the ones that take blood from the atriums down to the ventricles. So if you remember correctly, um, if you do this with your right hand and put it against your chest, you have three fingers over here, tricuspis on the right, you have two fingers over here, bicuspis means two, on the left side. Now this bicuspis valve is also known as mitral. They're, they're really interchangeable and you'll, you'll always hear either or. So just remember that bicuspis is the exact same as the mitral valve. So the, the, the tricuspis valve, which is on the right side of the heart, allows blood to go from the right atrium down to the left ventricle. I mean, I'm sorry, from the right atrium down to the right ventricle, the right ventricle. Once this fills up, these doors will shut, the valves will shut, and then blood will, will move on to the pulmonary artery. And we'll talk about that in a second. Then on the left side, the bicuspis, aka mitral valve, allows blood to go down from the left atrium down to the left ventricle. And then once this fills up, fills up, fills up, these doors are going to shut and then blood will go to your aorta. All right, so that's how these two valves work. Now, your other two valves are found, one's found between your left ventricle, so between your left ventricle and your aorta. The other one's found between, so they're both found in the ventricles. The other one's found between your right ventricle and your pulmonary artery. So this is the artery that carries uh, blood to your lungs to get oxygenated, right? So pulmonary artery, that's what this is. These two are considered to be semilunar valves. That's what they're called. They're called semilunar valves. Their actual name, specific name, is pretty easy to remember if you just remember the what the that valve, that vessel is called that's that's attached to that valve. So the valve that's going that's between the left ventricle and the aorta is called the aortic valve. As as simple as that. The one on the right side that's going from the right ventricle to your pulmonary artery is called the pulmonary valve. And just remember th these are both semilunar valves because they're shaped like a half moon type of deal, like a little crest. Right. Um, and that's pretty it. Um, the functions, where they are, what they're called, so they, they allow for blood to move in one direction. Uh, they're like little check valves. And they have their own names. These two are semilunars. Aortic valve for the valve going into the aorta. Pulmonary valve for the valve that's going into the pulmonary artery or allowing blood to go into the pulmonary artery. That's what I meant to say. And then tricuspis, bicuspis. Bicuspis is also known as a mitral valve. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, if I left anything out or if you want more detail, just leave a comment below and I will make sure to get back to you. All right, so take it easy. Bye.